A Mayo senator says it's too little too late to be drafting legislation in relation to vulture funds. Sinn Féin Senator Rose Conway Walsh was reacting to a report from the Irish Farmers Journal this week that shows over 21,000 acres of farmland in Mayo is controlled by so-called vulture funds, totalling 19 parcels. A county-by-county breakdown of farm mortgages held by several subsidiaries of US vulture funds, Cerberus and Lone Star, showed that the highest concentration of land is in County Mayo, followed by Galway and Mead. Senator Conway Walsh says the government has been taking a hands-off approach to vulture funds all along. New legislation to strengthen control of vulture funds is currently being worked on by the Minister for Finance, Pascal Donoghue, together with Fianna Fáil, Michal McGrath. However, the aerospace senator says it's all too little too late and that the matter is causing huge distress for farmers in the West. The senator has been speaking to Angelina Nugent. It is startling, Angelina, and I do want to commend the Farmers' Journal for getting those figures because I have put those questions several times to the individual banks and to the central bank and there seems to be an ambiguity around what the figures were in in relation to farmland. But it really, really is worrying for us in rural Ireland. Uh, it is worrying for us because the government seemed to be taking a hands-off approach to all this all the ways along. If we look at the vulture funds, and they have now, we have to, to remember, about five billion worth of, uh, of, of land and properties, Irish land and properties as it stands at the moment. But they will not come before the, the Oireachtas Committee, the Finance Oireachtas Committee. We have requested several times for them to do that. And the reason they won't do that is because they have the, the door in and out of the Department of Finance any time they want and in any way they please. And this has to stop. This kid glove treatment of vulture funds right from the beginning when Michael Noonan said, well, sure, we need them here, we invited them in. They invited them in, and they invited them in to pick off the carcasses. And we see the carcasses now are farmers and householders in rural Ireland and in the rest of Ireland. Now, new legislation is being drafted to strengthen control of the vulture funds. It's being worked on by the Minister for Finance and uh, Fianna Falls, Michael McGrath. Does that give you any hope that it might perhaps look at, at the hold that these vulture funds have on such lands? That's too little too late, you know. We put several pieces of legislation forward that were knocked back all of the time by Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael. And now the legislation that's been put forward, you see all these sales that have already been made. And they say that, you see, what concerns me is that they say the vulture funds, and we're told time and time again that they're regulated by the central bank, the ones that are being sold to, the ones that were named even in the, in the Farmer's Journal today. Now, there is nothing whatsoever to stop them from uh, slipping those over, which is what vulture funds do, to unregulated, um, unregulated vulture funds. And that's not to say even that the regulated vulture funds, what's coming back to us time and time again, is that they want to sell off the property. They don't want to negotiate. So if somebody, own, uh, somebody owing, you know, 50,000 or they're saved, they're 7,000 in arrears and somebody goes in, goes to them and says, well, look, I have 5,000 there. Will you take that? No. The, the, the aim seems to be that they will sell off the properties for the highest amount that they can get. The other thing that's really worrying for me is that when we talk to uh, talk to the banks um, about the, the sell-offs here and there will be more of the properties sold off in the coming months and the coming years, is that the connected loans, that they will count as non-performing loans. So if a farmer, say, has two, three, two or three loans, so if two of those loans are perfectly performing, no problems whatsoever, but one of the loans he's having difficulty with, and it might be the farm's loans, and it might be because of delayed payments or, or payments that are held up or whatever, they will take the three loans as being non-performing loans. So I'm extremely concerned about this, um, the way that the banks are viewing this and the way that the central bank and the government aren't tackling this in the way that they need to. People, once again, people have already been the collateral damage of the banks in this country in bailing them out to 64 billion. And once again, we see now with the vulture funds, 
the, the ordinary people on the ground and the ordinary farmers on the ground are the last in the line of the food chain and they're being held to the mercy by these vulture funds and nobody is there to protect them and it's not right.